Hello, this is a quick review of the Hive, flat veranda, and landing board. In here, at the end, this is raised so that your inner cover can slide hard against this outer edge and give you a reference point. Lifting the window. You've got the other inner cover pieces. Here we've got space for the seven flow hives going all the way across this way. And then three standard Langstroth hives here. Removing this piece gives you access for the key. Opening this gives you access to the ports. This piece will be nailed in. This piece, which is required to keep the end of the lang frames at the correct height, roughly flush, this will be loose and you'll need to glue this into place. Overall, we need to preserve the B space between the top of these frames and the top of the bottom of the inner cover. Apologies that you can see the print through here, uh, but I started covering the polystyrene with the signboard to keep ants. Ants can get up the legs, they like to live underneath the cover, and then they burrow into the polystyrene, so this at least keeps the ants out. I'm gonna put pencil marks into these inside corners so you can see how everything lines up. Everything will be pre-screwed, of course, uh, but it might be helpful to note where the pencil lines are to make sure that everything lines up. And I'll do the same with these blocks. Hinges will be in place. And then this piece here, I'll mark it with a piece of tape, but because you've got the flow hive, only this part slides into the gap and then the extra piece is on this side. So this can be flipped erroneously, but this is the way it goes. And then in the center, you've got the small hive beetle trap with this tray that slides in underneath. Thank you.